Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Saukul. Today, we are going to tell you the amazing story of the bullet train technology and its inventor, Hideo Shima. Hideo Shima was born in Osaka, Japan in 1901. He studied mechanical engineering at Tokyo Imperial University and joined the Ministry of Railways in 1925. There, he designed the steam locomotives, electric motors and steel cars for the Japan National Railway. He was a brilliant engineer. Narendra Modi and the Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe on Thursday flagged off India's first high-speed rail project at Ahmedabad in Indian state of Gujarat. Who had a vision of creating a high-speed railway system that would connect the major cities of Japan. In 1948, he became the head of the Japan National Railway's rolling stock. There, he designed the steam locomotives, electric cars and the steel cars for the Japan National Railways. He was a brilliant engineer who had a vision of creating a high-speed railway system that would connect the major cities of the Japan. In 1948, he became the head of the Japan National Railway's rolling stock department and started working on his revolutionary project, the Shinkansen or you can say as a bullet train. The Shinkansen was a network of a dedicated tracks that allowed trains to run at the speed of over 200 km per hour using electric motors instead of engines. The first Shinkansen line linking Tokyo and Osaka was opened in 1964, just in time for the Tokyo Olympics. It was a huge success and a symbol of Japan's largest economic and technological recovery after the war. Hiroshima is widely regarded as the father of the bullet train and one of the greatest engineers of the 20th century. The name bullet train was discovered from the cone shape of the front of the bullet train. Before we begin, let me clear you the difference between the bullet train and the maglev train. The main difference between the bullet train and the maglev train is the technology they used to run on the tracks. Bullet trains uses the conventional wheels and track, while maglev trains use magnetic levitation to lift and propel the train. This makes a maglev train faster and smoother than the bullet train, but also more expensive and less common infrastructure is available for that train. So you have to build a huge infrastructure for this bullet train. Now let's compare the top speed of the board, the bullet train and the maglev train. The bullet train speeds up to 320 km per hour. That's of the maglev trains can speed up to the 600 km per hour. That's the massive guy. Maglev trains are way faster than the bullet trains. Now, let me tell you the fascinating history of the maglev train, which is a high speed train that floats on a magnet. Yes, guys, you heard it right. The maglev train uses the magnetic levitation to lift and propel the train above the tracks without any physical contact or friction. This makes the maglev train faster, smoother and quieter than the conventional trains. The idea of using the magnets to move the vehicles has been around for more than a century. Many inventors and scientists have contributed to the development of the maglev technology. But one of the most influential figures was Eric Lathwaite, a British electrical engineer who invented the linear induction motor in the 1960s. He demonstrated the principle of magnetic levitation and propulsion using a model train that he called the track hover craft. He also popularized the concept of the maglev train through his lectures and TV appearances. As you know guys, we have studied in our school the very very basic concept that is the right hand rule. 
and the basic things of the magnets. Now guys, as we study in the school, it's a very basic concept of the magnets. As we know, the same magnetic poles repels each other and opposite magnetic poles attracts each other. And the second concept is the right hand rule about the changing of the poles in the magnets for electromagnet. Now let me explain in the short what is the right hand rule. Now let's suppose if at one end the current is in clockwise direction of the electromagnet then that part behaves as a south pole. If the end of the coil the current is flowing in the anticlockwise direction then the behavior of that pole behaves as a north pole. As simple as that. Now I will try to explain how magnetrains work in very simple words. Let's go. Magnetrains are the trains that use magnets to float and move. Magnets are the things that can attract or repel a metal objects. Magnetrains have magnets on the bottom and on the sides. The track also has the magnets on the sides and the coils on the top. Coils are the loops of the wires that can make electricity and magnetism. The magnets on the bottom of the train and the coils on the top of the track work together to lift the train up. That's the concept of the same poles repels each other. And in this way, the train does not touch the track and there is not at all friction. If there is a more friction, now there is a more less speed and you have to use the more power to gain the speed. The friction is when the two things rub against each other and slows down. The magnets on the sides of the train and the track work together to push and pull the train along. The coils on the track have electricity that changes the directions very fast. As we discussed before in the right hand rule, the same concept has been used here to push and pull so the train can make the go forward. This makes the magnets on the track change their poles very fast. Poles are the ends of the magnets that can attract or repel each other. When the poles of the magnets on the track and the train are opposite, they attract and pull the train forward. When the poles of the magnets on the track and the train are the same, they repel and push the train forward. So it is a basic mechanism guys. So from the forward of the train, it's been pulled and from the back it's been pushed and hence the train moves forward. Magnetrains are very fast and smooth because they use magnets to float and move. They do not need the wheels or engines like our normal trains. They can go faster than 600 km per hour which is unbelievable which is faster than a car or a plane. Magnetrains are very cool and a smart concept. So why don't we use the ordinary magnet? So what is the purpose of using the electromagnet? The purpose of using the electromagnet is that because electromagnets are superconducting means below 450 degrees Celsius it generates the magnetic phase that is 10 times stronger than the ordinary magnet. You got me guys? So there are many advantages and disadvantages of the Maglu trains. Let's see some of the advantages. Maglu trains are very fast reaching speeds of over 600 km per hour. They are very efficient using less energy and producing a less greenhouse gases emissions. As there is no any combustion of the fossil fuels because they run on the magnet and the electricity, they don't have any type of engines. They are very smooth and quiet, reducing a noise pollution and improvising the passenger comfort. As they float, so there is no any disruption in making the discomfort to the passengers. So let's see to the disadvantages of this train. They are very expensive to build and maintain, requiring a special tracks and a power systems. They are not compatible with the existing infrastructure, limiting their availability and connectivity. They are technologically new and uncertain, posing a potential safety and security risk. Now let's see what is the current update of the Maglu train, which is the current fastest Maglu train on the planet and it is the LO series developed by the Central Japan Railway Company and it set a world of a 603 km per hour. Yes guys, you heard it right, it runs with the speed of 603 km per hour in a test run which was done in April 2015. However, it is not yet in a commercial operation 
the plan is to launch it on the tokyo and osaka line by 2027 now which is the fastest maglu train that is currently in a commercial operation is the shanghai trans rapid in china yes it has a top speed of 431 kilometers per hour and connects the city center with the airport it is also the first commercial maglu train in the world which was opened in 2023 so now let's talk about the india's first bullet train project which is a high speed rail corridor that will connect the mumbai and ahmedabad this project is a joint venture between the india and japan and it is expected to be the completed by 2027 the same as the japanese used to launch their magic trains which is going to run with the speed of 603 kilometers per hour the bullet train which will run in india from the mumbai to ahmedabad will run at a speed of 320 kilometers per hour and it will reduce the travel time between the two cities from seven hours to two hours so it will cut off the five hours the bullet train will also have many features such as automatic doors emergency brakes earthquake detection and undersea tunnels the bullet train project is a dream project of our Sri honorable prime minister narendra modi ji who wants to transform india's infrastructure and economy he launched the project in 2017 along with his japanese counterpart shinzo abe who was the former president of the japan who provided a 17 billion dollar loan for the project and the project is also been seen as a symbol of the friendship and the cooperation between the India and Japan. The bullet train project is one of the most ambitious and innovative projects in India and it will have a huge impact on the country, development and progress. So we hope you enjoyed this video and learn something new. If you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel. So guys, we will bring you such technology concepts to our channel. To do that, please do like, share and subscribe to stay tuned.